Welcome back to the LNT Painter YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be working on this blue McLaren that you see parked behind me. So everything's getting prepped, ready for paint. We're gonna get the car in the booth once we prep it, clean it, and then it'll be ready for masking and paint. All right, first things first is we got all the parts that are new, new used parts, which are gray, and we're gonna seal them before we get the car in the spray booth. I'm gonna apply my uh, light gray sealer, which is gonna give us the proper undercoat. Once I apply the sealer, we're gonna let it dry, and then we're gonna work on getting the car inside and start masking it up and then we can paint everything together. Parts are looking good, repairs look good, parts are clean and we're ready to apply our seal. the McLaren is in the spray booth that's masked up cleaned up and we're ready to spray so on the door we're gonna blend this side of the door obviously paint the repaired areas paint the quarter we're gonna blend the edge of the trunk so it matches with the quarter panel and on this side we're just gonna blend the door a little bit We'll try and stay away from the fender as much as we can. Uh, keep it below this line. And then just blend halfway into the door. That way we're just gonna do the door on this side. And then obviously we got our rocker panel, the scoop, and then the inner jam part for the quarter panel. Gonna spray everything. First thing I'm gonna do is I have my sealer mixed up I did the same G3. Actually, this is not a sealer. I put sealer on the new used parts because they were gray. So I mixed up the same G3 gray 
with my base coat. So I'm just gonna dust it on the edge of the door and then feather in all these primer areas. That way we're gonna get a good cover match, good coverage, because this glue is very, very transparent and it's gonna be hard to cover all those areas if you don't blend it out with the light gray. Same here, we're just gonna dust it around the primer area. That way we have a nice smooth transition of uh, primer into the color. And same on the trunk. So we achieved the proper color match. I'm gonna dust in uh, right on the edge, some G3 light gray base coat. And then once that's dry, then we can just start applying our base coat. Should be uh, two, three coats and get our coverage and good to go. Friends at Martin Auto Color came out, took a photo of the car, and gave us a color code, which is a 76E. And it actually is a Ford color. It's called Lapis Metallic. And uh, that was the closest variant that they came up with. Um, I had to tint it a little bit to make it a blendable match. So we got our color, we got our paint. I wrote down what I did to it. So we'll be ready to mix and paint. finally dry and we can proceed to the next step which is the clear coat this is what it's looking like with two coats of base plus a control coat to even out all the metallics looking nice and clean smooth here's our door we did a nice clean blend stayed away from the hood area 
same with the trunk. Just blended this side of it. Stayed away from the driver's side. And finally for the door. Also stayed below the mirror kind of. And away from the quarter panel. This is what we're looking like. I actually got a Sharpie here. I'm gonna autograph this. see painter for the next people who decide to disassemble this McLaren they can go again and check out my video looking good quarter looks good body work checks out anyways I got my clear coat mixed up full cup uh, two coats medium wet ready to go. Guys, the McLaren is based up, cleared up, and it's ready to go. Turned out super nice, super clean, very happy with the results. Let's show you guys what it looks like. Wow, this thing is a beauty and she cleans up nice. It was pretty rough when we got it. 
now it's looking very clean so we painted this door as you guys saw we just painted the door section didn't touch the fender or the quarter panel so color is very nice super clean matches good that's pretty much all we did on this side come around to the passenger side was where the damage was and look at that what happened nothing happened wow beautiful so the bumper we didn't touch either it's a factory cover at least i hope it's a factory cover but that's what was on there and our match looks good what do you guys think yay or nay we did blend the trunk just because it had uh, scratches on the inside of the trunk there that would be visible so i just instead of touching that up i decided to blend it that way we got a beautiful perfect match on the top this quarter is original bumper is original stayed away with the color on this side so it matches i threw color about halfway into the trunk so blend it out here stayed away from there match to the quarter we painted the flare the little scoop and on the door you guys saw we had some repairs as well kind of right there and on the bottom same here i stayed away from the front fender i blended about like right before the mirror so can't see the blend because the color is very good match to be honest when vlad brought the mclaren to the shop and i saw it for the first time i was thinking to myself man it's going to be a difficult color to paint to match but uh, luckily it all worked out. My jobs aren't always this perfect, but I'm very happy with how this McLaren turned out. And I think the new owner is gonna be super thrilled. You don't see these cars around. It's like a luxury McLaren, pretty much. That's what Vlad said. Looks sweet. I love the combo with the blue, black roof, black wheels, and then all the black trim. And the white interior looks dope too. Ready for the weekend. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video of me painting this McLaren GT. I hope you guys like how it turned out. If you don't, let me know in the comments below. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Also comment below, let me know what you guys think. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new cool video. That's gonna be it for today. See you guys on the next one.